The way we're going to do that, think of a clutch accelerator. We're going to stand on the top ski and as we do that, roll it flat and let the skis come around the first bit of the corner by themselves. That's what they want to do and then we're going to finish nice and parallel. It's one or two things we're going to use to help you achieve that. Let's take a look. I'm going to use my hands down here to show you where the pressure or weight is changing from foot to foot. Think about what you do when you change gear. As I lift the accelerator, I will start to push down the clutch. It's the same feeling. You can see this close up. The weight is coming off the downhill ski and onto the top ski as it rolls onto the new edge. It's a combined movement. As I stand on the top ski, I can feel the weight coming off the downhill ski. Okay, so I'm on that left leg, smoothly onto the right, feel the weight coming over, now onto that uphill ski. Remember, as I start to stand on that right leg, roll it over, let it come round smooth. If you're finding that hard, it's not working for you, you might be not changing the edge as you're changing the weight. So Phil, as you're going to stand onto that top ski, roll the ski flat and gently over to the inside and it will start to come round much smoother. I'm going across the hill, I'm now going to start to stand on that top ski. If you keep it on the outside of the edge, it's going to simply keep going the same way it's pointing. So remember, the second you're going to start to transfer the weight, roll that ski over and it will start to turn for you much easier. Make it a nice smooth blend. It's a combination of standing on the uphill ski and rolling ski over onto the new edge. You can see that as I do this, the ski will naturally start to turn downhill. You'll notice that the snowplow has disappeared from the start and the skis are staying parallel throughout the whole turn. 